book peeps! So today I'm doing a book review on Shelter for the Damned by Mike Thorne. This was published in February of this year, 2021, and this is a horror novel. Now I did not know about this book until I was watching David's uh, video, David from David's Book Reviews. I feel like that was really hard to say. <laughs> Anyways, I really trust David's reviews and he had, you know, lots of good things to say about this one. So I knew it would be worth checking out. Um, if you don't know about David, he's a horror booktuber, a Stephen King's fan, and yeah, you should totally check him out if you don't know about him. And before I get started, please like and subscribe if we are jiving. So for this story, we are talking about Mark. Mark is a troubled teen. He tends to get in a lot of fights and um, he, he's a punk, basically. Um, I did not like this character. Uh, I, mm, I wasn't a fan. And then we have his two best friends, Adam and Scott. Adam comes from a really just, he's got a, a bad home life. Uh, mm, I don't like it. <laughs> I just, I don't want to give too much away either. Cause this is, you know, this is, I believe it's a novella. If not, it's a very short, short story. Uh, I had this on my Kindle, so I don't really know how many pages this was. And then we have Scott and Scott, you know, he's got his shirts tucked into his pants, you know, his parents are kind of more strict with him and he needs, he's very well put together. At least he looks very well put together. And Mark, Mark also, he kind of like takes things too far. Um, so yeah, there, I just, I felt like I needed to mention that. But anyways, and then, oh, and then there's Madeline. Madeline is like his crush, but she's in there. She's sprinkled in this story a little bit too. So one day, Mark, Adam, and Scott, they are looking for a place to smoke a cigarette. You know, they want to do it so they don't get caught because they're kids, you know. And then they they end up coming to this shack. They've never seen it before. It's kind of in the woods. And they decide that they're going to go there to, to smoke their cigarettes. And Mark loves it immediately. He just feels safe. He feels comforted in this house and Adam and Scott are, you know, they're indifferent, like whatever, it's a place to smoke. So as time progresses, you kind of see Mark has this weird obsession with this shack. He's always got it on his mind to some extent and he feels anxious when he isn't there for a couple days. You know, he feels like he needs to be there all the time. Um, so after we kind of understand that and his obsession with the shack, then things really start to pick up. So after this, Mark becomes pretty problematic and he ends up getting in a fight at school. It's pretty severe and he ends up getting expelled or no, not expelled, suspended. He gets suspended. And during suspension, things with the shack take a turn. So the shack starts to speak to him or I don't know if it's like the shack or the essence inside the shack, you know, but it, it all ties together. So the shack basically says, if you want to still come here and chill out and be comforted by the essence that is, you have to do something for us, me, whatever the shack essence-ness is. Okay. So yeah, <laughs> that, that is how, you know, I can't say much. I can't, I don't want to say what exactly the shack is asking for because I feel like that's a huge spoiler. Also, once this happens, Mark starts feeling crazy. He feels like he's starting to lose his grip on reality. And then the end, it's so crazy and so, there's just a lot, a lot goes on in the very end. And the ending is kind of ambiguous, which is a huge hit or miss for me. This was a hit. I loved it. I loved the ending. I was like, oh, oh shit oh shit there's there's things that happened <laughs> and I don't know I just like it was ambiguous but at the same time I was fine with the ending the way it was like I'm good I don't need to know I'm good I love that um I, I mean it's also set up where it could be a sequel I'm sure it's not going to be but there's definitely room for more if if he wanted to add more to it. I really enjoyed this book. I gave it five stars. And like I said, I didn't like Mark as a character, which sometimes that can be really hard to follow a character if you're not at all jiving with them. And even though I didn't like Mark's character as the story progressed and the things he had to do for the shack, I did sympathize with him. I did, um, I felt bad for him, you know? So I did, even though I didn't like him, I still like connected to him on some kind of level, I guess. 
So I think it's worth the read, you know, and like I said, it's a quick read. Um, it did take me a few days to get into it, but that's just me. And there, and that's also because like, there wasn't really any horror elements to this until about halfway through. Like I said, I'm not picky with my ratings either. <laughs> I mean, I think I've mentioned before, it's really based on my mood in that moment. And um, yeah, I just, yeah, I, it's a five stars. I liked it a lot. Also, what's very funny is that I saw David's review on this book and I was like, oh, I have to pick this up. This sounds really good. So I bought it. I started reading it. And then that same day, I got an email from Mike Thorne asking if I would review his book of collection, his, his book of short story collections called Darkest Hour. And I will be doing my book review on that June 11th. That is his publication date. So I will have a review out that day just a heads up in case you were wondering. So, um, but so far I can tell you that, wow, I'm really enjoying his collection. I'm not completely finished yet, but it's going to be very, very good. I can already tell you it's going to be a great review. Um, but anyways, yeah. So keep that in mind. Mike Thorne, he is so far a solid author, in my opinion, great at horror. His stuff comes out of left fields to me. So, I mean, it's great. That's, that's, that's what I want. Have you picked up this book? You should pick it up if you haven't. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. I post Sundays, sometimes Tuesdays and Thursdays. I hope that you are sticking around and enjoying this journey with me.